He heard footsteps inside his house, and when this Portland man went to check it out, he came face to face with a masked man and his gun. If it would have been a real gun, I know he would have pulled the trigger to, to buy that second to leave. I realize I'm not a cop. So. How this homeowner fought back against the intruder. It's 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. I'm Ann Stay, and that suspected robber still on the loose tonight. Jolie Winaga live in North Portland with the latest on the search. Joel, the victim still pretty shaken tonight. He certainly is, Jeff and Ann. Good evening to you guys. Though he tells me after that initial adrenaline rush, perhaps it wasn't the best idea or the smartest idea to confront this guy inside his home. But tonight, Paul Scow tells me his first instinct was to protect his home at all costs. You know, you never take a knife to a gunfight, and I did. Paul Scow tells me he would defend his home with his life, and just may have early Wednesday morning. I started hearing noises upstairs, and uh, I could tell they were footsteps. They weren't the cat. Turns out it was a masked stranger with a gun in Scow's living room. Scow confronted the robber who broke in through the back door. Scow then armed himself with a kitchen knife. You know, I'm not really a violent guy, but all I really wanted to do was leave and then hopefully never come back. Scow somehow managed to scare the suspect out the back door, and that's when the stranger picked up this hand truck and started swinging it at him. I think he accidentally dropped his gun. I don't think he did it on purpose. It turns out the gun was a realistic looking airsoft handgun. I've learned police are now trying to get fingerprints off the key piece of evidence. If it would have been a real gun, I know he would have pulled the trigger to to buy that second to leave. The masked man got away, last seen running north on North Wilbur Avenue. Paul Scow has owned this home for more than 30 years and says the neighborhood is safe. But in the meantime, until the intruder is caught and behind bars. So I'll lock the doors tonight instead of leaving them open and uh, hang on to the same knife. We're back live now, obviously with a mask on. There's not very a very good description of the suspect. He's described as a man in his mid to late uh, 20s, about 5 feet 10 inches tall with a heavy build. We're live in North Portland. I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Jeff and Ann, back to you. Gerald.